In the last couple of videos, you have seen how to use OS Forensics to uh, manage a case, to look at deleted files, to look at mismatched files. And in this video, we're going to look at creating and searching an index. So what we need to do is obviously we need to have a case open. As we can see here, we've got our device added and we're going to go to create index. This bit takes a little while, so it might be a good idea to do this and then go away and do something else. Uh, we're going to index all the files, so we're going to tick all the files that we want to, to add to our index. We're going to take everything, including emails and attachments, but we're not going to take system hibernation and paging files um, because there's not anything that's any use. And we're going to add a drive. We're going to select the whole drive and make sure it's our case device. And we're going to index the files and unallocated clusters. Okay, so there'll be two items in the list there. We press next. It just confirms that we've got the file extensions we're looking for. And then we're going to start indexing. So this, because it's the USB drive, it's not going to take too long. The larger drives will uh, take a little bit longer. It might give you a, a warning that there's an error. That doesn't seem to impact your um, success at all. And once that's been completed, we're just going to go to search index. So you would have to create an index for every single device that you add. Once you've done that, we can search the index. So it will only allow searches on indexes that we have created. So it's got a Hello Kitty index, but there's nothing else there. So it won't accidentally pick up your C drive uh, unless you actually make an index of that. Uh, once we start, uh, searching you can see that if we go into the files tab it's picked up oops it's picked up files that match the file extensions we were looking for so it's picked up some settings it's picked up some text files it's picked up an html file um, it's picked up that poems file already okay and if we go to images there's also some images so you can see in there that there's different images in there so there's maybe some pills and a picture of a sunset if you double click on it it will actually show you the image okay and you can kind of zoom into that if you want to but we can also right click and view with the internal viewer and remember this has got a little bit more information about the file so we can go into the hex so we can see that yes that is an image it's a jfif so it's a jpeg file so it's the correct format and we can go into the text viewer and it kind of confirms the same thing you know it's basically it's an image file so it should be a, a random collection of uh, characters we can go into the file information to get this the data was created and modified and accessed and we can go into the metadata the metadata might have some information about the camera that was used to take the photograph um, where it was originally um for, sorry when it was originally created etc etc um, let's see if there's anything useful in there. There doesn't seem to be any coordinates that I can see. Not in this file, so that's excellent. Okay. If we think that that Sunset Over Blue Lagoon might be useful, we can right click on the file, we can add to case, and just like before, we can select files, we can give it some notes, and then we can go back to manage case, and you will see it in the file section of your case. So in this case, too many words case here. In this instance, we've got an index search module that found the Sunset Over Blue Lagoon.